G'day guys, back again. Uh, this is gonna be a quite a simple one, I think, but we're gonna do a video anyway. So it is a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer with a 2.4 liter petrol engine, and it has been towed in for overheating. Uh, the coolant level's full, uh, we've pressure tested it, and it's good, so uh, it does have a funny cranking cadence, so we're suspecting a blown head gasket, but we are going to confirm it 100%. Um, now we're not a, a fan of TK tests because they've failed in the past before So we're going to use what we usually use and we're going to do a relative compression test and put the pressure pulse sensor on it And see if we can find out does it actually have a blown head gasket and if it does Which cylinders are low on compression and where to go from there So I'll get set up and I'll get you over there and we'll have a look All right, here we are we're set up all we have done is taking out the fuel pump fuse we have got a pressure pulse sensor connected to the radiator neck. Uh, we have got the, uh, we've got a sink on number one ignition coil trigger. And we have got our high amp clamp around the battery cable. So we're just connected up with Pico. And uh, we're gonna set this up, I'll screen record. And then we'll go over and crank the engine and see what we get. All right, we're in the car, so let's crank it up and see what we get. Battery's a little bit weak on this, but we're still going to be able to get what we want to see, so let's go have a look. So, as we can see here, we've got our green trace as the pressure pulse sensor, we've got our blue as the relative compression, and we've got our number one ignition sink right there. So, let's maybe let's zoom, on, zoom in on a section there. So, if I can get that. Let's zoom in on, on one sort of fire cycle there. Get a better look at what we're seeing. All right. So clearly red being our number one ignition sink. We can see our firing order. One, three, four, two, back to one. And then obviously one, number three there uh, is obviously really low on compression. Four and two are low, but not as low as number three. And as you can see with our pressure pulse sensor on our number one, we have very little uh, pressure rise. As we get to number three, that's lowest compression. Look at the pressure spike. And then we come down, we get a little bit higher pressure spike than we did on number one for, for number four. And then we go up to number two and we get a larger pressure spike. So clearly we have got a more than likely a head gasket blown maybe between two and three, but I think this is a great example of, of how we can prove it to the customer and how we show them that we can see which cylinders are, are down and and what to do from there. So we definitely know we can take a photo of that shot to the customer and give them the you know the, the initial diagnosis and then it's up to them what they want to do from there, whether they want to start pulling it down and, and go from there. But we really uh, have, have got to the bottom of the initial diagnosis right there immediately. So there you go, as you can see there, I'm, I mean, like when you get something like this in, we could get the old TK test out, and yeah, great. And if it does change colours, which sometimes we, we do get blown head gaskets and it doesn't change colours, so don't really know how reliable those TK testers are at times. Maybe they are for you, but we, don't, we certainly don't like them here. Um, and, you know, even if it doesn't pass, you know, what does that indicate? Do we know which cylinders it is? Do we, how far do we go? I mean, the time it takes to get a TK tester out, really, this only takes about probably less than 10 minutes to set up and, and get the screen capture, and we already know what's going on. We know it's low compression on three, three and two mainly, and, and on four, and we definitely know it's got a blown head gasket. We know that the compression pressure is going into our radiator, into our cooling system. So we know 100% screenshot, straight to the customer, 100% proof, and then it's up to them what they want to do from there. So that's 10 minutes diagnosis work and that's all done. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And I know some of you that are into the old school methods are saying, you know, it's overkill getting the scope stuff out. But really, if you've got it and you want to use it, you've got it open at the start of the day, 10 minutes to set it up and it's done. So each to their own. If you want to do the TK test, go ahead. If you want to do it this way, at least we know what we need to do to do it. High amp clamp, pressure pulse sensor on the radiator, the cooling system and an ignition sink. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.